Hi folks, tonight we're going to talk about explosives. An explosive is a chemical that produces a reaction of light, heat and a big shock wave culminating in a sound, a big bang. Um, in the military, uh, explosives come in three forms. Um, you have um, demolitions, explosives, like Semtex for the destruction of infrastructure to deter the enemy. You have uh, propellant um, explosives like gunpowder, which is used for artillery and for mortars and, of course, bullets. And uh, then you have the small ordnance explosives, uh, which are used to disorientate and to uh, cause confusion and to blind the enemy. Um, the examples of them would be smoke grenades, flashbangs and illuminating um, missiles. Um, in the civilian side of things, um, explosives come in the form of industrial explosives like TNT for the quarries, uh, for the demolition of old buildings. Um, uh, again, uh, you have propellants like black powder and gunpowder for bullets. Um, and then you have um, small ordnance, of course, like fireworks. Under the Justice Act, you need to have a license in order to import, to store and to use fire explosives. Um, when it comes to importing, you have a license. The reason for that is so that you're registered, you purchase from registered suppliers outside the country. Um, it's important for you, it's important for the government, it's important for everybody that uh, everybody knows when dangerous materials are coming into the country. Storage, um, it has to, obviously it has to be in a very secure location. Also it has to be temperature controlled. You don't want it too hot in, in there otherwise uh, the explosives can cook off. Um, again, humidity as well. You wouldn't want to walk into your facility and if you found uh, wet explosives, how do you dispose of them? You can't just throw them in your bin. You can't bury them in a hole in the bog or something like that. There's only one way that can you can dispose of um, explosive ordnance, and that's just to call in your explosive ordnance crew from the army. Um, again, also when it comes to using um, uh, explosives, you need to do site surveys. You have to get permissions from the local authorities. You have to give everybody plenty of notice of what you're doing. Um, and it's all important. It's, um, it's very important to have a license. So um, that's all I have to say tonight. Um, take care and stay safe this Halloween.